Now to the Big Island, where Kilauea's latest eruption is on pause. This is video from earlier today. According to the Hawaiian Volcano Observatory, the lava stopped at around 12.30 this afternoon, about 12 hours after the eruption started. The Hawaiian Volcano Observatory uses the term pause since the region remains dynamic and could change quickly. It says the lava started getting sluggish at around 11 o'clock this morning, then stopped moving at around 1230. Our Big Island Bureau Chief Jeremy Lee is there with the latest. Here at Ue Kahuna, the eruption is a little further off than previous eruptions, but you can see it in the distance depending on the visibility. And even with the eruption pausing, plumes were still visible into the afternoon here. Lava fountains that were visible this morning uh, on the order of between 10 and 30 feet tall, sometimes a little bit taller than that. But one of the differences is this is a low volume eruption. It's generating lava flows, but so far they haven't gone more than a couple hundred yards away from the fissures. This is a view of the caldera, Halemaumau, and two miles off in the distance, a plume at times visible depending on the weather. We have a lot of temporary closures in place because of safety reasons. Volcanic eruptions are dangerous inherently and the hazards with this one, I mean you can see that big plume of gas and possibly some ash coming out behind me. So it's a dangerous area. We have closed Mauna Iki Trail which is the closest um, access normally. It's kind of near Mauna Iki Trail. So that is closed. Kau Desert Trail is closed. Helena Poly Road is closed and one of a couple of our campsites, Pepeau Cabin and Ka'aha. In terms of the, the scale and the material coming out of the ground, it's smaller than the recent eruptions we've seen uh, within Ali Ma'oma'o over the past couple of years. It is all hands on deck already here at Hawaii Volcanoes National Park, and our staff right now is uh, mobilizing to open up an overflow parking lot near the Kilauea Military Camp Historic Ball Field. The eruption is unique by its location. What's different about this one is that the magma actually traveled outside of the summit caldera, and that's the first time that that's happened since 2018. Reporting from Uekuhuna in Hawaii Volcanoes National Park, Jeremy Lee, Island News.